Good morning, Leos. Welcome back to the channel, FFT, Fiery Falcon Tarot. This is Leash. And we are going to do a message for you guys today. Hope everybody's doing well, feeling well. Happy birthday, Leos. Happy birthday. We're going to clarify today with the Beast deck. I love this deck. <laughs> and I think we're going to pull with the Light Sears Tarot deck. Um... And we're going to pull you guys, of course, some Oracle cards. We're going to do some al uh, Alchemy Oracle deck today. Um, so, yes, it's going to be a little fun. We're going to just pull messages for you guys and see what spirit wants you guys to know for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe um, if you're a high vibrational person. Because I, I expect a high vibrational person to comment and like the videos and support the channel. Um... Low vibrational people, it's to be expected for them to, you know, be a divination hater. So, I don't really expect y'all to do that. But let's, um, let's see. Right, we said we're going to pull y'all an alchemy oracle deck, right? Oracle, I'm sorry, for oracle. Y'all yeah, remember those yo-yos that be like, yeah. I don't even know if it was a yo-yo, but it was like those little tubes and you slide it it's like a little piece in the middle that goes up and down slides i just heard that in my head right now so i don't know if you found one or if you guys are like a goodwill and you're playing with one you see one i'm not really sure but i hear it really loud in my ear it just i just hear it sorry <laughs> i'm a, just a big ass kid really honestly i'm just a kid in an adult's body but a responsible adult, you know, I pay my credit cards, I pay my bills, you know, I pay my shit, I pay what I gotta do, I gotta I take care of what I gotta take care of, but other than that, it's all fun and games. Oh, Leos, I do have a message for y'all, so, well, besides what we're gonna talk about, whatever comes out, um, this could be for any guys, any of you guys that have Leo, Summon, Rising, and or Venus, okay? Be sure to check your other placements as well, so that way you guys can get a full picture. Um, and as always, the roles could always be reversed. It could be you or energies that are approaching you, around you, within you, you know, someone other than you. All right, just a disclaimer. <laughs> uh, there could be some profanity here, too, as well. Shit. So, I had to get that out. Shit. If you don't like it, get the fuck it. I I just keep it real, you know what I'm saying? I just that's all I could do is just be myself. So, you know what I mean? I'm trying to work on curving the language, but you know, what do you what do you? Anyways, Leo's all right, let's enough of that. So, all right, the message here is really important. Are you ready? So, I don't know what I was watching last night, but I was watching something. Oh. Someone's name could be Jeff Jefferson. Uh you could be on Jefferson Street, Jefferson Way, Jefferson Alley. Jefferson Park. Some of you guys could be in New York. Okay. Shout out to all five boroughs. Okay. I love you guys. I love New York. You know what I'm saying? You guys are so raw and rugged and rough. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, son. We ain't playing no games. So shout out to New York City. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And shout out to the North Jersey people too because they not from New York, but they swear that they, they New York. Like, bro, you're New Jersey. You're not New York. Sit your ass down. <laughs> But if you talk to a, a, new, a person from, like, East Orange or, like, North Jersey, man, they going to tell you a lie to your face. I'm from New York. Man, like, nigga, just move across the bridge if you want to be real New York. You know what I mean? Just move across the line. But anyways, I, I never understood that. You know, even in my trucking years, you know what I mean, when I was out, when I was physically, like, out there, out there every single day. You know, because those that don't know that I, I was a truck driver for over 21 years. Um, yep, yep, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Over 21 years, I know, I look 17 still. <laughs> over 21 years, but, yo, know, that, that was like something I couldn't stand. Like, stop faking, like, just be from, claim, rep where you from, right? So y'all might be uh, being annoyed by somebody that don't really, they like a little dishonest about where they from, okay? It's like, why? Like, you know what I mean? Like, 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 back in the day, I'm not even going to say that part, but anyways. <laughs> but y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> Just wreck where you from. You from where you from, bro? It's all right. It's all right. You from the project. Riverside Bucket 26. You know what I'm saying? I ain't ashamed. I, we was in the projects. Riverside Bucket 26. All right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? 
<laughs> Shout out to the horseshoe, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the folks in the shoe, you know? Anyways, um, shout out to 5th Street, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to 27th Street, you know what I'm saying? Those is my stumping grounds where I, where I was run, rumbling the streets at, you know what I'm saying? 5th Street, 26th Street, 27th Street, you know what I mean? 24th Street, you know what I'm saying? Back in the day, you know what I mean? 2 4, you know? But, anyways, alright, Leos, let's get the message out. But what I wanted to say here about that is a channel message for y'all. Alright, I know I've been ranting a little bit, but just stay with me. Um, so, on this particular episode, cause I like to watch old school shows, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I, I think I just got an old soul. Um, but it really innates me, it really lights me up when I see like 227, um, um, the Jeffersons, um, you know, all those wonderful shows from back in the day, um, Sanford and Son, you know what I mean? So anyways, on this particular episode that I was watching last night, um, so her name could be George, all right? Somebody named could be Wheezy, or you might call him Wheezy, or someone may be uh, asthmatic, okay? Someone may be wheezing, okay? Someone may have a shortness of breath here, Leos, that you guys may see or hear or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, if you got your CPR kit, you know, with the safeguard for the mouth shield or whatever, then obviously, you know, help the person. That is the right thing to do. That is the divine white light thing to do is to provide assistance to whoever you may see. You may even, I'm here in Narcan, so somebody, you may, you may need to resuscitate someone, Leo's here, with a Narcan. All right, I'm, I'm just hearing that right now. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> uh, damn. Hold on, y'all, because I really need to know this lady name, because I can't think of it right now, but I want to make sure I'm giving y'all the right name. You know what I'm saying? Someone name could be Florence Johnston. Florence or Johnston could be here as well. All right, so anyways, uh, Florence... Um, now, this is going to happen to you guys as well, too. You may buy a couch or an item, a jacket, a hat, a guitar, a piece of furniture, Leos. It could be anything that you're buying or um, receiving from somewhere. It could be filled with money. Um, just an FYI. I'm just putting it out there because this is exactly what happened on this particular uh, show that I seen last night. Um, it could be a Gemini. You guys could have Gemini in your chart. You could be dealing with the Gemini. It don't necessarily have to be. Um, this could be also, you could be with someone that potentially you met in Gemini season, okay? If not, Leo's, and you have someone with Gemini energy in their chart, um, coming in towards you, okay? Alright, shout out to St. Louis here. I'm getting the call from the Lou. So, shout out to St. Louis. Let me stop throwing up my fingers like I'm in a gang or some shit. Now, I'm only in a spiritual gang. All I know how to do is this is pray and, and do this. Pray and do this. That's all I know how. That's the only gang signs I know. <laughs> Alright, um, but, um, so shout out to the Lou. Somebody could be calling y'all for St. Louis. Someone may be viewing y'all from, um, you know, viewing my channel from St. Louis. Shout out to you. Thank you. Shout out to Sexy Red. Toxic ass, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. She needs some divine divine white light healing but you know everybody has to go on their journey and you know go whatever they gotta do i don't know what the hell where are we going here Lise? let me get back on track but anyway anyways um let me see here so anyway so so she found a bunch of money inside of a hat it was the sum of twenty five hundred dollars so leo's you could be getting gifted twenty five hundred dollars you could find twenty five hundred dollars you could um like I said, you could find this on the ground, anywhere in public. This could be inside of a piece of furniture, a jacket, a hat. Uh, like I said, an instrument. It could be inside of anything. Uh, but <clears throat> the number 25 is sticking out really, really heavy. So from the time you see this reading, Leos, I'm going to say until probably the end, about this time in September season, you guys are going to find either t the sum of $25 all the way up to $2.5 million. Okay. Last night I seen um a large chunk of money. Okay, so it could again, Leo's. I'm gonna say it to you again. It could be between twenty five dollars. Oh, they said twenty five cents. Okay, jeez. 
It could be between 25 cents all the way up to 2.5 million dollars. Okay? In the next coming coming couple weeks. So anyway, she thought she was under the impression that she was going to receive 20 that she got $2500 cuz that's what was in the hat. It was inside of a hat actually um that she pulled out. Uh so it could start out weird cuz she actually pulled one out. And she was like, what is this? And only one, and it was all hundreds. A hundred dollar bill came out. And she was like, oh my God, I got a hundred dollars. She was really grateful and thankful for the hundred dollar bill. But she continued to investigate further to learn that that one hundred dollar bill had 24 more friends. You understand what I'm saying? And not only that, there were a few items that had money in it. So not only did this hat have money in it, there was a coat that was lined with money so it actually was way more than two thousand five hundred dollars and you know back then that was a lot of money that was kind of like almost like a baby thousandaire um back in those days so just imagine if you know so that's why i'm giving you guys some all the way up to 2.5 million dollars because you know it's still 25 right 25 just got more zeros so just be on the lookout for that leos i just wanted to give that message to you guys so i'm definitely on the lookout for you know my two five okay and i think i mentioned something yesterday about a call for victory or a call is going to be coming in it's going to give you some really good news leo so just saying just saying that call <laughs> that, that call is that call you know like come on down you know that's my dream you know to go on the prices right one of my dreams um i love that fucking show i used to watch it with my grandma I know how I play every goddamn game to the T, honey, to the T. <laughs> that is my show. I love The Price is Right. So if anybody works at The Price is Right, ends up seeing this video floating around the web some way, somehow, just, you know, reach out to the email down below. And listen, I love The Price is Right. I love it. Bob Barker was my guy. I was so sad when he had to retire. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the the guy now that does the show, he's super funny. I love him. Um, ew, I don't want to get his name wrong. I don't know if it's, ew, I don't want to say it, but I love his, I love him. I think he's so hilarious. Um, two cards fell down, Leo's, but I don't know where the other card bounced to. <clears throat> we do not have a lot of time, Leo's. I have to be somewhere by a certain time. Prompts. Hence to why we are a little late. I kind of, you know, I took the today and I said, you know what? Today's going to be the day I sleep in. Maybe you could be seeing double, Leo, because I swear it looked like it was two cars, but clearly it's just one. I'm moving stuff around and I don't see another card anywhere. So you could be seeing double. In fact, something's just singular, okay, but it may look like it's more than one. Just keep that out. And isn't that Gemini energy? Isn't the Gemini the Zodiac Twins? All right, but we got accept heaven's help. It says you pray for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. <laughs> get out your own way, Leos, and allow the divine white light. Look at all those beautiful white birds. You guys may be on the beach, on the shore. You may be somewhere where you can actually see water in the distance. So these... Where I live at, these kind of give seagull vibes. But um, if you guys see a big flock of white birds, Leos, okay, it's giving like geese, but it's also, I mean, not geese, it's giving doves. It's giving doves or seagulls or, are pigeons white? Because the pigeons I be seeing be looking kind of crazy. <laughs> they be looking like the New York pigeons. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so crazy. But anyway, Leo, there's going to be a strong sign or indication that God or, you know, the universe is helping you guys, whatever you guys subscribe to. You know what I'm saying? I love that for you guys. Yeah, we got Father's Healing here. So at the bottom of the deck, it says your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. Any father related issues to heaven. So. Um, I don't really, I don't want to say I don't like to, I actually love to, but on a channel, it just be like, people be just strange, but you know, um, you know how, you know, we say the traditional Christian prayer. Um, and I don't even know if I want to say Christian because to me it's like the, it's the Hebrew way because every film that I've watched 
pertaining to Moses, Jesus, God, Allah, you know, not Allah, but, you know, but definitely God and Jesus. Uh, it, it starts over in Hebrew, right? The Jewish cu culture, the Jewish community, um, and even how we are supposed to, quote unquote, pray. Um, from so many depicted films that I've seen and also what's in the good book, you know what I mean? It's, you know, how you're supposed to pray and you're supposed to say, Heavenly Father, thou art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think your spirit guides, your ancestors is asking you guys to pray more. And when you pray, Leos, be sure that we're, you, you can do what you want, right? I'm not telling anybody what to do. But I'm just telling you the message that I'm getting right now. And depicting on this card, it, it looks like, you know, a, a heavenly mermaid father. Shit. So some of you guys could be related to um, uh, mermaids. You know what I'm saying? You guys may love to be in water. You may just love to submerge yourself in water. I know that personally pertains to me because I'm a water freak. Like, I love water. Even in the... Sh I take, like, hour, two-hour showers because I can't help it. Because I literally sit there and I think about me being submerged underwater all the time. You know, even when I take my spiritual baths, I'm in that thing until it gets cold. I run more water. <laughs> if it's cold again, I run it again. It's cold again. Like, I'm praying for God to just bless me with, um, you know, a large tub. Like, I want something large that I can, like, lay in. It's like, it needs to be a bed inside the tub. I'm talking, but a comfy bed, not just any old bed. It needs to be super soft and super comfortable, and it needs to adjust to my body. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if that's out there, but I'm pretty sure it is. You know, if you got the, the right amount of money, it is. <laughs> it's out there. So, yeah, that's what I would need. That's what I would like. So, when I do my spiritual best, I can just, you know, and a, 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 a heated bathtub that the water don't change. It don't lose the temperature. It holds the temperature that I want it to be at. So I can actually fall asleep in my spiritual bath. That would be so dope. Um, okay. But anyways, let's keep it moving here, Leos. We got Mother's Healing. It says, as your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. Now, I picked this up in the reverse here. So this is telling me two things here. Some of you guys, you do need to actually, you know, do that whole forgiving process here with the Mother's Healing. Others of you guys, I feel like that was maybe a requirement for you at certain points and times on your journey. But I feel like now, you know, heaven is like, you know what? You did try that route. It was unsuccessful. So we're going to just step in and we're going to show you the signs and indications that we see in your heart that you tried to do the right thing. You tried to. Uh, for some reason, think something was diverted or something didn't work. It's in the reversal. Uh, but heaven is reassuring you guys that you know what we got your back no matter what yeah because at the bottom of the deck we have time to move on time to move on so you guys could also have a mother figure that is about to move on that is about to transition here oh confirmation confirmation with my phone going off so some of you guys are about to have a mother that is about to transition i i, I got this in your reading like a couple days ago leos i lied to you not i've been putting videos up for the last like three days back to back so someone's mother is about to transition um i'm so sorry for your loss in advance uh you know my condolences to you your family uh your mental everything will be just fine you know and this is also a sign to let you know that you know she will be just fine, you know, with this crossover process here. So you're going to see, so the birds could be like either a symbol of a reminder for you guys that you're okay. So if this person already transitioned Leos, but I feel like they have it. This is new energy that is about to transition. Okay. And not new, but it's existing energy. It's not already transitioned. Um, anyway, move on. It's time to let go of the old and warn <clears throat> And worn out so that the new can come in. Didn't I? Damn. Damn. Didn't I just say? So it's like, and with the judgment here, mm -hmm, someone's definitely getting ready to transition, Leo. I've been saying it. But that's exactly what I just said here, that that you guys were supposed to try to heal something with a mother figure, um, you know, stepmom or actual figure, actual mother. And I feel like you guys, God saw that you guys did make the attempt to, you know, 
reconcile this with the judgment, repair this, revamp it, heal it, mend it. But for some reason, with the Five of Pentacles here, it was like unmendable. Like, you know, maybe this was like the last test for this mother of y'all, Leos. Maybe it was the last test. Maybe God was like, you know what? We're going to try one more again. And if this shit don't go down the way it's divinely supposed to be going down, you're out of here. It's kind of giving me like, like that three strikes you're out type of energy. So I don't know if this is a mother that has, you know, done certain things here, repetitive behavior here. And like this person just has not learned with the judgment here how to be, you know, but that's what I'm picking up here. We got to move on here. All right. So we're going we're gonna to let it go. We're going to move on because we've been here for 20 minutes. Like, comment, subscribe, Leos. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, dear. I'm supposed to be somewhere by 10. That means I got to give y'all like six more minutes. But y'all should be good, though, because I done read for y'all every day, and I'm going to continue. <laughs> These are kind of pre-recorded as well, too. So the same day that you see the first reading, um, I did this reading the same exact day. Just swapped out the clothes. And, um... Obviously, at a later time. All right, but anyways, let's see. Spirit God, Divine White Light, what is the most important message this year for my Leos? For my Leos. Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. What is the most important message here for my Leos? Leos hit the like video, <laughs> hit the like video, hit the like button, Leos. Uh, we have the two of pentacles here. Things are going to be coming into balance for my Leos here. The queen of wands. Yeah, y'all out here looking good, smelling good, and feeling good. Order a new perfume, new cologne. Um, you guys are really shining, Leos, here. And I, I, it came out in the reading yesterday as well, too. The queen of wands, I don't think, came out in yesterday's reading. I think she may have showed up here. But, uh, oh my goodness, Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Leos, y'all have somebody. I just heard Sierra make a move, yeah. Um, huh. I can't sing, so I know that. I'm telling you right now. You could be my prince, my knight. Ooh, I could be your superwoman, save me, here I am. Cause baby, there's nothing I won't do. To spend my life with you. Oh, Promise. That's what that name of that song is by Sierra. I think Sierra's a water sign too. I think she is Scorpio or Libra. Hey Siri, what's Sierra's zodiac sign? In Western astrology, astrological signs are the 12 30 degree sectors that make up Earth's 360 degree. That is not what I asked her. She's giving me the Western astrology sidereal signs and all that. What is going on? Um, so Promises Here by Sierra. Mm, Leo's. What is the rapper singer Sierra Zodiac sign? Yeah, I think she's a Scorpio. 10-25. Yeah, she's a Scorpio. So, Leos, you got a Scorpio. Colleen, Texas is where she was born at. Okay, so someone could be Texas. Someone, yeah, Libra, Scorpio. <laughs> she a cusper. So, you guys have somebody coming in, Leos. Man, I'm telling you. I promise I will never lie to you. Well, she was singing about a man, so boy. So, male or female. Take it how it resonates. But listen, and my phone ringing again. <laughs> promise. I promise. I promise. I will never lie. This person is fit. Okay. Yeah, Page of Swords could be a little younger than you guys. Uh, want to invest here. Yeah, Ten of Cups here, Leos. Whoa, and the Two of Cups. Wow, Leos. I'm telling you, 
someone's looking like they're looking at their coins I, this is what this is so if this is not where that money's coming from that i just picked up on and this is something else here for sure but because this person is looking at their bank statements at their bank account they're getting a sum of money that they're ready to come and blow they're ready to come and blow two of pentacles they're moving money literally as we speak as i speak who the fuck is we me and spirit uh but literally <laughs> they are moving money right now okay they are doing it leos i'm telling y'all let's see this is nice <clears throat> or this is you guys looking at your money because you're ready to make a move here okay you're trying to get some shit accomplished here but leos with this ace of cups and this queen of cups here this could be a same same a same same relationship um uh a same sex relationship here don't necessarily have to be but i have all women on these cards okay Someone may have to have cho have to choose between four different women here, or maybe someone has dealt with oh five now with the Queen of Swords. Lord, it's a lot of women. It's a lot of women here. See, the Two of Pentacles got a woman on it, right? And somebody was like, "Yeah, we don't want flat face, flat ass, uh, you know, flat ass over here." No shade to the to the little booties. Little booties matter too. Well, they told y'all that already in the song. Then we have I feel like this is you, Leo's the Queen of Wands. It could be another fire sign here for you guys. The Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be, but I'm strongly getting this is y'all. Queen of Wands. Now you have the Queen of Cups and you have an Ace of Cups. Again, different women. Different women. So I feel like, um, now I'm here. I've been around the world. Now, yeah, yeah. I can't find my baby. I don't know and I don't know why. Why he's going away when I'm going to win. He can be my baby. I'm right here, but I'm going to find him. Ooh, I've been around the world. Y'all know I can't sing, Leos. But anyways, so this is someone that feels like this person may be a big traveler. This person obviously has explored a lot of different women or men. Or maybe potentially both, okay? Because I do get a bisexual energy here with this Queen of Cups. Um, but anyways, this person hasn't quite found what they're looking for. You guys know how like when you go somewhere and you like... You know, you got a taste for something and you have it and you like, it's just not what what I wanted. It's something missing. It's, you know, or it's different. Like maybe this could be like a meal that you get, I don't know, at whatever restaurant y'all like to go to for your birthday deals. Let's just say that. And you get the same, you know, filet mignon. And this time you get the filet mignon. You're like, you know what? The same chef didn't cook that. It, it don't taste like it had it before. Like there's just something missing. So this person feels like Leo's with the whole I've been around the world. Y'all yeah, yeah. can listen to that song by the way and get the message for yourself. But this person just feels like you know what? They they had a Brenda, they had a Felicia, they had a Tina, and all these connections. It just just didn't solidify what their spirit is looking for here with the Ace of Cups. Right? Because it's still like that is is not right. It's not right. That's what that's what I'm getting here, Leo. So this person, okay, they done been around, but I mean, you know, the titties on the ground, but I mean they stopping at your door finally. Like, you know, I don't know. The pussy might be a little loose here. I don't know, Leo's or the, the dick might be a little shrivel, but it's 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 stopping at your door. I don't know. <laughs> Look at that wand in the Queen of Wands hand. Look at how she hold her hand out like, this is what you want me to settle? What is this? So I don't know, Leos, if this is a uh, a piece of energy. I was going to say a piece, a piece of meat. Is what I was going to say. I about said a piece of energy that y'all going to want to, you know, embrace, endure, settle down. I'm not really sure. But y'all know what I told y'all to say yesterday. So that's all you need to do. Say that. This this could also be um you know what I'm getting siblings to here. Yeah, with the knight of swords, so y'all might have to cuss a bitch out here because I told y'all with the whole mother transitioning in energy here. So this could be, you know, some energies here going back and forth with your siblings at this uh repass. You know, there could be some kind of energy. And y'all know how it is when you see like aunts and cousins and shit that y'all only see when people die, you know, you know, you know, those kind of people. Uh <laughs> you know. You know what I'm saying? You just want to get the hell out of there. You're like, I don't even like y'all like that. Like, I don't even know who y'all are. 
Why you in my face? <laughs> Why are you even in my face? Uh, so yeah, Leo's. Um, let me see. All right, I thought something flipped over. Oh, by the way, did I say excuse? Any noise in the background? I don't think I did. Uh, yeah, the magician here. Y'all just y'all trying to um. Mm. Yeah, y'all just want to get out of there. Y'all don't even want to be there. The Three of Wands in the World card. You're looking for a new opportunity here. You're, you just, you know. So, with this repass energy here, you guys are going to feel uncomfortable with the uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Because I do see that energy here. Let me go ahead and bust open this beast deck here, Leos. And let's go ahead and clarify here. So, y'all guys, you know, dang, you know, it's it's a lot of energies happening for you guys, though, Leos, okay? Look, we got the King of Cups. Somebody wants to marry you guys, though. And then we have the High Priestess here. That's marriage, Leos. Someone looks at you as their end-all, be-all, and you look at this person as your end-all, be-all. I do see someone is in love with you guys. So, someone is dealing with multiple parties or multiple men or women or both. Or, you know, I feel like someone hasn't was indecisive in the past here we're going to clarify this two of pentacles first right here the first card that came out was the two of pentacles someone not really sure if they want to have one foot in one foot out they want to invest fully here with the seven of pentacles that we just seen here is this really what i asked the divine for is this really what i manifested here with the magician and the fool card yeah someone wants to take the leap of faith but they're just trying to like get a little closer look or something like that to make sure you know it, it is friendly and not foe <laughs> Let's see. What is the Two of Pentacles here for my Leos? What is the Two of Pentacles for my Leos? Please and thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe, Leos, okay? I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for being here. Alright, but let's see. It feels like the sun and the moon is coming together. So it feels like... I don't think we have a... I don't think we're predicted to have an eclipse anytime soon. But with these two two pentacles here it's kind of looking like they're like going to gradually rise and you know meet in the middle yeah ace of cups is in the reverse so this is someone that you know downplayed love didn't want love yeah with the five of cups so this is, could have been someone that was not focused on it here because they've been broken in the past here look at these three cups that are broken here leos this could be you or someone else but we have three broken cups here so this could be someone that done been in you know, about five relationships here, and out of those, all five of those experience here, only two of them were kind of, like, worth savoring. You know how, like, when you have a beverage, Leo's, at, like, the coffee shop, and you're like, oh, I don't, I don't want to take that with me. I'm not taking that with me. And so you leave the cup behind, right, the broken cups here, but you're going to find that other coffee cup. See those two coffee cups at the bottom? Those two cups are going to finally come together. So... You seeing whoever this is, uh, it could be an earth sign with the pentacles, two, uh, two of coins here. What I said, earth or pentacles, what the hell? If the two of coins is earth energy, don't say it have to be. There's a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which also could be you guys though. And there's a water sign here. I said Scorpio, I said Sierra. So you do have water. You have, so this person is kind of balanced out, you know what I mean? Or you guys could be, you know, well balanced out with the two of pentacles and with all the earth, ele all the elements, right? The sun, you know air wind fire <laughs> uh is what it's giving me here but i do feel like this person was broken and was uninterested in love and this could also be you guys uninterested in love you don't want it yeah the eight of swords yeah someone's blocking it out you know because someone doesn't want to look at it see it deal with it experience it ever i'm here ever again so someone was really really heartbroken here you know and i get that yeah, ten of pentacles here. This could be due to, you know, situation that this person's seen in their family. Maybe they didn't see a happy home growing up with the ten of pentacles here. Ace of cups in the reverse, the five of cups. This could also be someone that's been just programmed to, you know, not give your heart to anybody, right? Just to kind of be focused on money and be like kind of ice cold. It's giving that kind of energy too. Yeah, look, ten of swords. Ten of pentacles, ten of swords. I can't make it up. 10-10. Ten, ten. We got the world card here already. So you guys have been getting signs and indications to end this confusion, this confused energy over here. This energy that's kind of in and out, you know, indecisive with the two of pentacles could also represent that as well, too. You know, could also represent that as well, too. 
All right, let's come on. Let's keep on moving. What's the Queen of Wands here for my Leos? So if these are individual people that you guys have dated Leos, this is what you're you're analyzing. Okay, that one over there only really wants money. You know, they don't really want anything, you know, worth loving or worth having kind of energy based on how the person is moving, right? So you're just going to be like, okay, we'll, we'll toss a, pen, a pinnacle or two at that over there when we feel like it. Yeah, the Ace of Swords is coming out clarifying you guys, the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Swords. So you're over here, you're weeding out the options, and these 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 chicks don't, because I don't want to disrespect them, right? We don't want to call them bitches, but you know they probably are bitches. But you know we just weeding, you just weeding it out, yeah. Three of Swords, yep. Leo's like, you know what? <laughs> I know what that looks like. Yeah, the Moon card. I know exactly what that looks like. I know exactly what kind of person you are based on how you moving, and I know exactly how I'm gonna deal with you. So that's what y'all. That's what that's giving me here with the Queen of Wands. And again, remember how I said, look at how her, her hand is out. Like, ah, yes, I'm excited. I'm happy. But you know, y'all, I'm here in lowdown now by little baby. So somebody could be a Sag. Somebody may have Sag placements in their chart. Don't necessarily have to, but y'all need to go listen to Lowdown by Lil Baby. All right. Why is the Ace of Swords here for the Queen of Wands? What is she talking? What truth is she sharing? <laughs> the Two of Pentacles in the reverse. <laughs> what I just said about the Two of Pentacles over there. So this is y'all. Y'all real balanced, Leos. You know, you you know. You you know you know what's up, yeah. Seven of Pentacles. I cannot make it up. And look at how this is growing on this little tree here. All right, what's the Queen of Cups here, Leos? Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles. I love it. So when this mother transition here, y'all could have a policy that y'all don't know about, or there's going to be some kind of, and I hate to say that, but listen, I, I'm seeing it here. The Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, remember, because we just spoke about a mother transition in here. So with the Ace of Pentacles clarifying this here, you, that, and with the lily on it, okay, or is that a honeysuckle? You know, I actually seen these the other day. I was driving on a back road, and they were just so beautiful. It was a whole field of them, full of them. Um, and, yeah, with the devil and the hierophant here. So, maybe someone tried to sacrifice you guys, Leos, here. Because there's a padlock on this chain, on the devil. There's a padlock on here, and then here's a key. So, someone wanted to have y'all locked up, locked out. Um, someone could be trying to get y'all locked up, Leo, so just be careful, be mindful of that, uh, because it's, it's showing up right here. There's a key in the devil with the lock that's locked, <laughs> okay? So, uh, be careful. Y'all could be getting locked out of your home, locked out of your car. Um, you could be leaving your badge inside your building, your office, and you could be getting locked out. There's some kind of locking out energy that's happening here, Leos, okay? So, just be mindful of that. Someone could be also trying to break into your home because I just get the energy of like picking the lock here with this Queen of Swords energy. Well, if you know what I know, what Medea once said is peace be still. And if you don't, if you want peace, you load your steel. Thank you, Lord. You load your steel. Yes. All right. So let's keep on moving on here, Leo. So this uh, Queen of Cups could be leaving y'all some money here with the Ace of Pentacles here. But this is like, with see her eyes is closed. So that means that you guys don't even know it. And see, you can't even see this person face on this card either. So it's giving me like a surprise type of energy here that you guys are not expecting it. Um, I was watching a show on, um, Net I think it's on Netflix or one of those platforms. Um, anyways, this is what exactly what happened. The family was rich and royal. You know, they fucked up too, right? They did, they just more secretive with their fucked up shit. Um, most of them. But anyway, the family was wealthy. And so the younger son ended up getting the entire estate, everything. And the older son was like, he flipped the fuck out because he thought in his mind, because he was the oldest and that, um, you know, everything got to go to him. Right, everything had to go to him, and the mom was still living. But he just had in his mind that because he was the oldest son, that the dad, everything the dad had, was rightfully supposed to go to him. And I'm like, where in the bat shit fuck does that? Why does he even think that when the mother is still living and they married? Why would you think you getting everything? 
anyways but you could it could go like that if the person set their will up like that however the father left everything to the younger son the whole entire estate all his fortune all the companies all the stress and all of that the older son flipped the fuck out because he he couldn't believe that it didn't go to him because he's the oldest son. He had documents and all types of shit. He was like, by law, the older son, living son, as if the other son is dead or something. I'm not sure. But the motherfucker was crazy. But So it could be something. Y'all could be getting ready to have to be prepared for this, Leos. So, okay, so for instance, so it could be reversed for y'all. Now, your mother may or may not be wealthy. We don't really care about that. Because if someone has a policy, then they have a policy. So, this mother may have a husband or, you know, you may have other siblings here, but because of how they structure things, Leo, everything is going to go to you. And so, everybody's going to be pissed off and upset here with the five of cups, these broken cups, because, so someone may start throwing things, Leos, so just be prepared for that. Uh, but someone is not going to approve of things coming to you. Uh, or something like that here because that's exactly what happened and even the youngest son he wasn't there expecting a goddamn thing everybody else was in there with their little like their sunday's vest on so this could be someone that goes to church a lot or something like that leo's here or, or something or you could be the person that goes to church. i don't really know but everybody was in there when it, it like dressed to impress but the youngest son he was you know they because like in England, you know, like they're, they're rich, they're wealthy people, so they always walk around with like their little polo shirts on and shit like that. But he was just like, he act like you know he would rather be reading a book. That's the energy that he gave off. Like he didn't even really want to be in there, but because they were doing the the reading of the will, he kind of had to be there. So everybody was like just with a smile on their face. Like you could just tell everybody's motives was like, oh, but what am I going? To, what am I going to get? It was like a greedy kind of energy. And so he was just like scrolling on his phone. He wasn't even listening to what was going on because he had no intentions on receiving anything. And more than behold, when they read his name, he even he looked up in disbelief because he couldn't believe it. So this is about to happen to you guys, Leos. Okay, so let's go on for here. Let's get out of here. What's the Ace of Pentacles on this Queen of Cups? Nine of Pentacles. Holy cannoli. <laughs> Leo's is only 10 pentacles in tarot and the 10 is already out here indicating that this is going to be your family here and you're going to get the fake love Leo's with the ace of cups in reverse here because look 10 of pentacles is right here I said what's clarifying the queen of cups and the ace of pentacles nine of pentacles Leo's that's like that's millionaire because 10 of pentacles is millionaire right so if you're a nine then you gotta be a millionaire, Leos, or or this is gonna put you in a financial position that that you dreamt of, always dreamt of being there. Cause look at how this Queen of Cups' his eyes is closed, like she's just manifesting, she's just thinking about, you know, being able to, uh, you know, finally have like four hundred dollars in her savings account, finally being able to set up all her bills or his bills, cause there's no gender in tarot on auto pay like this person looks like that's what they're praying for like they're asking for you know just to be you know okay you know what i'm saying and i never noticed that this queen of cups has a fish right behind her look at that beautiful fish that's down here in the water she don't even know that fish is there because her eyes is closed and it is gorgeous that's like look like something so some of y'all could be seeing some real tropical fish on vacation here or something like that because it looks like a um a saltwater fish like one of them real tropical shits you know but anyways let's keep going with the ace of cups leos is the higher font yes the divine loves you guys leos the higher font is clarifying the ace of cups and y'all gonna get the key so, Leos, for a long time, y'all, the deck is in reverse. Y'all been feeling like y'all haven't had no key, right? Like, in every every door you approach, you just felt like it wasn't the door for you. Because what, maybe the door probably got shut in your face or closed or, you know, the opportunity just didn't work out for you. This could be love. This could be business. This could be platonic. This could be any kind of noun, right? Person, place, or thing. But whatever it was, you just always felt like your key never was the perfect cut for this person's heart. This whatever, right? Because we're clarifying the Ace of Cups. And on here is the Devil. Again, coming out with the higher font. 
I don't like this, Leo. So someone's doing like spell work on like your um yeah with the world card here. This is broken. So someone in your family maybe could have been doing spell work. This could be your mother though, Leo's honestly because we talked about the mom energy in the beginning and my phone started pinging like crazy. Y'all heard it. Um, but the higher font and the devil and the ace of cups, your mom could have been doing. I'm so sorry to say this, or if it's not a mom, then there's a woman. A feminine energy in your energy, Leo, that has been doing energy work towards all your love connections. And this is why y'all feel like, well, why none of these people been working out? Well, for one, they weren't supposed to work out. But for two, some of them that I do see, Leo's, did have a fair chance at confirmation. Y'all hear my phone going off? Some of these did have a, a, a fair shot of being successful, but with the energy and the magic and the dark, you know, the dark spell work that has been being thrown at your love life, Leos, is being broken now with the world card here. And look at the reef. That's a victory. Are y'all watching the Olympics right now? Y'all know what that reef means, right? It's a victory. So this, so yeah, two of cups. I can't make it up. So this is why some of y'all mom about the, uh, the, the the divine white light is about a, didn't I just say three strikes you're out? So this woman who we're going to safely say is either a sibling, uh, a aunt, or your actual fucking mother has been doing energy work to keep you uh, without true love, Leos. Because look, the two of cups. And behind that is the sun. Yes. Did not keep. So you wouldn't be happy, Leo. So you would never find true love. This shit is done with. It's over. And this is why. So this person obviously tried this shit again here. Maybe the last moon cycle. They did something, Leo. Said something. Some kind of gesture was made or done or whatever the fuck. However they do it. Because I don't, I don't play with dark, dark energy. I'm all for God, the divine white light. And look, unknown. My phone is ringing now, and it says unknown. So this has been un unbeknownst to you guys throughout all your relationships. And that's a confirmation with that unknown someone's calling block. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's so weird. But God has had enough. So this person obviously did something this last full moon that we just had, which was on what, August 4th? And so, and how are you going to know who this person is? Is this person just pops up at certain points of your life? Like, when y'all get new relationships, Leos, like, this person just out of nowhere kind of pops back up. It just happened to me. It just happened to me. And I immediately had to remember what was going on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I had to immediately, like, cut it out. But, damn, Leos, that's fucked up. But yeah, you know, you can't you can't play around with the chosen ones. You know, God really cares about His chosen people, and you you just you just you just can't. But let's clarify the three of wands in the world card here, Leos, and we're gonna close it on out. Like, comment, and subscribe here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you guys so 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 much. If you don't know, I am a Leo myself. I think I've mentioned it pretty much almost all, all of my videos. Um, so, yeah, I love you guys. Your, your, your friendly neighborhood Leo here reporting live for all of my Leos out here worldwide. All right? I love each and every one of you guys, even the low vibrational ones, because I got to tell you guys, that was once me. And it was once you, you know, if you're still vibrating low, then hopefully you'll, you'll you know, you'll be redirected. Yeah, justice. Bam. Things are again being brought into balance here, Leos. That was the first thing I said with the two of coins that came out in the beginning. And yeah, they're talking about you, King of Wands. So you and your partner is, is going to have balance. You guys are going to have stability. Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles. I said yesterday in yesterday's reading, you guys are going to have all the Pentacles. And it's right here. It's coming out. Now, yesterday, God didn't give us no Pentacles, but we're getting it all today here. It's so awesome. And look, with the pentacle wrapped around this devil here, underneath of this lock, this lock, like someone was even trying to, they were trying to block everything, Leos. They were trying to block your destiny, okay? They were trying to block your love life. They were trying to block your money. Look, and we started out with judgment. We're ending with judgment. And this is kind of giving me like the drops might with the white, with one single white feather here for judgment. Remember at the beginning of the reading, judgment's right here. We started with judgment. Hello? Hello? 
This has been put to rest. Is what I is what I just heard. It's been put to rest. So, yeah, the hangman. Look at that reef of light shining brightly here. So I'm gonna give you guys the zodiac signs, Leo's, and we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for being here. Like, comment, and subscribe. Again, we have uh, heavy water energy. We have Scorpio, Pisces. All right, we have the Ace of Swords here, which I feel like is not an individual. I think that's just divine, given the truth and the clarity about the situation here, so that you guys are no longer confused with the Two of Pentacles in the reverse here. We do have fire energy, though. Here we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the World card that showed up twice for you guys, which is Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy, and also Leo energy. is very fixed, fixed energy here, Leos. Um, and with the Judgment here, is giving me Sagittarius energy, and also a little bit, uh, heavy Scorpio, man, heavy Scorpio and Libra, obviously. And Libra energy. But I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here, Leos. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.